All right, so one of the other questions that I get quite often is like, okay, you're putting this on the outside of the house, you're putting on the roof, the walls, underneath the slab. We're in the south. It's a wet climate zone. What about water? So does rock wall disintegrate like it, like fiberglass does when water hits it? Do you have to replace it? Is it rendered useless at that point? Like what happens to rock wool when it gets wet? If it's fully saturated, you're not, you're not getting anything effective out of it. You might have something, but it doesn't, I mean, yeah. at that point you have other bigger problems than our value, you know. But it doesn't fall apart though, no. when it gets wet. No, I mean, it's the rocks. So what, what happens with rocks under non water that's not moving? So like in a riverbed, yeah, it's going to tumble and, yeah. you know, but yeah, it's, it, it is a, they call it hydrophobic or whatever. I mean, it means it's, it's got incredible drying potential. So it'll just, the, it, it wicks moisture. Like you, if we spray water on the surface of this, it'll just, just run down, down the surface and it won't, it won't, it takes a lot for it to, you have to be in contact with it for a long time for it to actually soak it up. And that only is an issue below grade. If you have water going toward your foundation, you're not sloping away properly, mm -hmm. that water, or if you have a high water table, you know, it, then you need to manage that water. First of all, you need Got to it. get it away from the foundation with foundation drainage systems and drainage mats and things like that. But if there's, if, if it was unexpected, it's been there for 20 years and foundation drainage wasn't available, yep. whatever. Yeah. If water's saturating it, it's going to lose its R value. So you just get the water away from it. But if it dries out, it's going to be perfectly useful again. You know, it's, it's, but the thing about above grade, I mean, below grade, it's back before we leave below grade, below grade, yes. Yeah, so we get that, we get a lot of questions about, well, what about, you know, below all that wet dirt and that, well, again, if you manage the moisture to keep it away from the foundation, it's going to be in contact with dirt that's, that's going to be damp, but that amount of moisture is not going to Go cause, ahead. cause any degradation or it's not going to really lose any R value from that. It's, it's, and, and so when you go above grade, what we're really talking about again where it becomes at risk is when it's saturated soaking in water and the only time that happens is if you have a building failure that's so great the roof has been ripped off from a storm water is saturating even then the roof is sloping the water is going to drain away good. you know but you have bigger problems than that day-to-day -day, humidity things like that never going to be a problem you know airborne moisture and vapor yep is never going to de de you know, degrade the product. Like for instance, if you, if you have an insurance claim, sometimes certain products that get wet, the, yeah. the adjuster comes out and is like, just tear it out, replace yeah. it with yeah. the rock wool. We don't have to worry about that. Yeah. I believe the same thing for the, the bats on the inside of the house right. as well. Yeah. That can get wet, dries out, it's fine. Keeps its, keeps its shape, which, which is very important. That's right. Cause this stuff is pretty thick. I mean, this is not, yeah. this is not bad insulation. This, this, yeah, this bats, is, yeah, this stuff is, is a lot, a lot denser um out on the outside yep. this is a this is a, a rigid stone wool and then the stuff you put in the cavities is a bat but it's still more rigid and that does hold its shape the sagging doesn't happen you know like yep. the, the 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 sagging in the walls will happen uh, that doesn't happen at the same rate as say fiberglass or cellulose or other products um but it, I mean, there might be some over a long period of time and it's, but it's, it's very, it is rigid. And yes, if it does get wet, it can dry out. Yep. It doesn't mean it will. It has to do with the wall assembly and, and making sure that you've built the assembly yep. in the right way. Control layers are correct. You didn't put a vapor barrier that blocks moisture from being able to allow that moisture to get out. So yes, as long as it's, the, the assembly is built properly, you allow it to dry, then yes, it will dry out. And it, and even if it does get wet, if that insulation, fiberglass is the same way, all those yep. other insulations the same way, as long as it, it can get a little bit wet, fiberglass is more susceptible. Yeah. It's more, it's weaker because it can hold the moisture longer and it can, it's like it, cotton it, candy when yeah, it gets wet. It'll degrade faster if, if it's, if it's, but if the stuff in the wall, if rock wool gets saturated, if there's a yeah. major plumbing leak in the wall, that same insulation can just dry out and be put yep. back in. It, it, but if you're opening up, you're putting so it's good to go. new stuff. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, yeah, like just the, as a by itself, if you never touch it, as long as it dries out, it's it's in good shape. It's yeah, gonna, that's a good point. It's going to hold up. We have never seen anything. If if it's saturated long enough and mold starts to grow in there because of the it, you know because it mold conditions are there, then 
you know, you'll want to replace it. Yeah, yeah. But give you a link to a video I have of, of, of a piece of uh, uh, two, two inch stone walling slides that we put on one of our projects um, that stayed out on the, on the floor deck overnight. And it, it was a deluge this is in Florida and it was a deluge of a storm and, you know, like just tons of rain. I think it filled up. So it's flat and it filled the top three eighths to a half of an inch with water. And it was yeah. just, it didn't go past that. It just stayed at that top. Oh, okay. I lifted it up and within, I think it was 30 minutes In 30 minutes, completely dry. dry. All that water. And I, I think I calculated it. I could be wrong, but it's, it's a few gallons, you know? Yeah. I mean, we did notice that. Like, Water likes to go this way through yeah, the product, yeah. not this way, which is good. That, that's, that's how we right. have installed. Yeah, it, so, I mean, it, all night long it rained and it only filled up that top half inch. That's pretty good, right? Of good production. Florida rain, you know. And when, of course, we've got a roof and siding on this. This isn't the final yeah. product, so right. we don't have to yeah, worry yeah. about all that. Well, that's the thing about there, there are a lot of these tests that are being done by builders, which is great, a great thing to do to test. You know, your air sealing around windows and water management around windows and things like that those are never real life conditions. And those are just extreme, like, hey, look yep. how much we can put a fire hose to this and put a fire hose to this insulation, it'll dry out. That's never gonna be a condition it ever sees normally. Hopefully. The, again, if it ever faces that, you have bigger problems. And exactly. that's not the problem. It's not the insulation, whether it can handle it or not. It's, you've got a major failure somewhere. True. All right, everyone, we really appreciate Chris coming out to do this presentation, answer all these questions. For the comments section, if you want to check out his channel, LG Squared. Just YouTube at L, or yeah, forward slash LG Squared. All right, we've got a link in the description below and appreciate you guys taking a look yeah. to, at this house. We've got the virtual house, which is going to be in multiple phases. We've got the as built where you can go through and see what it looked like before we got to this point. As soon as we put all the mechanicals in, you're going to see all the mechanicals in before the drywall. And then once everything's put in place, you're going to see the final reveal of this 1920s makeover. And um, finally, it's be quite, quite, yeah. yeah, quite a journey. All right. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Thanks, man.